It's a fine evening it is. Welcome to the 145th commencement of Westerly High School. Please remain seated at this time and join me in welcoming onto Salvatore J. Argiri Field, led by Marshall's junior class president, Maya Champ, and vice president, Kyle Siafi, the Westerly High School administrative team, the superintendent of schools, the assistant superintendent of schools, the director of pupil personnel, representatives of the Westerly School Committee, town manager, representatives of the Westerly Town Council, senior class advisors, Dr. Natalie Gordon Pukas, class of 1969, and our commencement speaker, Deanna Fallon, class of 1983. The Westerly High School faculty and staff, joined by our foreign exchange student, Lotus Niraman Bunjin. The Westerly Public School Department faculty and staff, and representatives of the 50th anniversary graduating class of Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me in giving a warm welcome to the Westerly High School Class of 2019.
On behalf of the class of 2019, I bring greetings to the Wesley High School community as a class president. My name is Sam Luzzi, and I have proudly served this class of future leaders, doctors, lawyers, businessmen and women, teachers, laborers, and parents. As the, parent, uh, as the president of the class of 2019, it brings me great joy in welcoming our invited guests, members of the Wesley High School Committee, the Wesley Town Council, the Wesley Public Schools Committee, the Wesley Public Schools Administration, Wesley High School Administration, our faculty and staff, our parents, grandparents, siblings, relatives, friends, and finally, the great class of 2019. At this time, I would like to invite the members of the class of 2019 who have chosen to enter the military to come to the front of the stage. Tonight, they stand before you in public for the first time as members of the armed forces. Thank you for making the decision to serve our country in a most honorable way. Please also welcome Mr. Thomas McLaughlin to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by Mr. Spencer Burnett, Ms. Molly Kina, Ms. Allison Ormberg, and Ms. Teresa Trollio to sing our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the To bring greetings on behalf of the Wesley School Department, please join me in welcoming Dr. Mark Garceau, the Superintendent of Wesley Public Schools. Thank you, Sam. Did we get to sit? Yep. Did we get to sit? Yes. Thank you very much. 2019, how are we feeling? All right? You know, when I, whenever I, I, before I get started, whenever I think of Bulldog Nation, I'm often reminded of that scene in The Lion King when Mufasa and Simba are up on Pride Rock, and Mufasa tells Simba that all that the light touches is Bulldog Nation. <laughs> and Simba turns to him and says, but Dad, what about that dark area beyond? And what does he say? That, that's Stonington. Honored guests, family and friends, and most importantly, and the reason that we are all here, graduating seniors of the class of 2019, 
It's my great honor to be with you here tonight to celebrate this important milestone in the lives of so many outstanding young adults. I join your families, your teachers, your principal, Principal Hoban, in congratulating you on having so successfully completed your education here at Westerly High School. Graduates, one of the things that we talk about all the time is the vision of the student we want to graduate. And for me, that student has three things about them that we take as our very solemn responsibility. We take it very seriously. And one is that the students we want to graduate have every opportunity in the world available to them starting tomorrow, whether to pursue higher education, join the service, or to enter the workforce. And they have all of these options before them because they have been well prepared for whatever comes next. We believe that we, us, and through your hard work and commitment to excellence, you have set yourselves up very well for what comes next. We couldn't be more happy for you. Second, for us, our graduates, whatever comes next is of their choosing. Our graduates have both the courage and the will to follow their own path, chase their own dreams, pursue their own passions, never living their life for someone else or compromising their beliefs or their conviction to placate others. Finally, the student we want to graduate is a bulldog and is a bulldog for life. Much like many of your parents, some of your grandparents here tonight, much like our graduates joining us tonight from the class of 1969 are. And what's it mean to be a bulldog? Bulldogs as a breed are brave, they are courageous, they were literally bred to fight bulls. They are determined and they dis display great tenacity. They are persistent and relentless once they put their mind to something. They never give up until they are successful, or at least until someone offers them a snack. Bulldogs are stubborn, but for all the right reasons. They're stubbornly loyal to their families, and they are fiercely protective of their territory, and even more so of those that they love. But bulldogs are also friendly and open, and enjoy bringing joy to others and laughter to all. These are all attributes we see in you graduates, and we are proud to know that wherever you end up, in five years, in 50 years, you will always be proud citizens of Bulldog Nation. We know you will always strive to represent your families, your community, and your school proudly. You're Bulldogs. So go out into the world and show them what you can do. Show them how you shine, how you, through your courage and your compassion, you can contribute to making things better for others in big and small ways. Show them exactly what straight out of 02891 means. Last night at Senior Banquet, we heard Ms. Fizarro remind us of the three Bs drilled into us as students at Westerly Middle School. Tonight, I would just ask that we update that a bit. And I'd encourage you to go out into the next chapter of your lives and be kind, be cool, and be courageous. And above all, always, always be yourself. Unless, of course, you can be a bulldog. Then, by all means, be a bulldog a bulldog for life, and get after it. Congratulations, 2019. It is with great pride that I introduce our Westerly High School Chorus to sing Precious Lord.
Thank you very much. That was wonderful. It is my honor to be here tonight to address the class of 2019. It is a great time to be a Bulldog. Good evening. Welcome to the 145th graduation of Westerly High School. On behalf of the administration, faculty, and staff, let me be among the first to say to the class of 2019, congratulations on the completion of your high school education. This milestone is sure to be one of many, including future college graduations, careers in the military, promotions at work, marriages, and for many of you, having children of your own. I am thrilled to join with you tonight in a celebration of the tradition of your graduation. One of the greatest honors of my life has been becoming a high school principal. The amazing students I've been able to meet in my career have left me optimistic that our future is bright. My sadness coming to Westerly was that I only had a short time to make connections with the great class of 2019. Yet when I close my eyes and hear your names, I can see your image in my mind. Not because I'm good at remembering names, it is because you have left your mark in my mind for kindness, compassion, or humor. Your good mornings and thank yous have been deeply appreciated. For me, each interaction and event with you has been meaningful and enjoyable. Since the high school's founding 148 years ago, after the Civil War and during the Reconstruction period, think of how this nation has changed. Americans, including graduates from Westerly High School, have liberated Europe from the perils of totalitarianism and fascism, campaigned for the women's suffrage amendment, and participated in the civil rights movement to expand democracy and opportunities for all Americans. All the while, through the turmoil and tumult of the great experiment that is America, thousands of graduates have walked this campus and enjoyed all the school has to offer. With Westerly High High being a beacon of pride and source of community spirit for generations of Westerly residents. It is a great time to be a Bulldog. Academically, we have wonderful advanced placement classes, a thriving fine arts department, seven fantastic career and technical education programs, and a college acceptance rate of 90%. Westerly High is sending students to MIT, Johns Hopkins, Brown, the University of Rhode Island, the Community College of Rhode Island, Rhode Island College, and all across New England and the nation. Our students will enter the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard Academy. Our students will work at Electric Boat and begin other trade careers. And some of you were even fortunate enough to be in the English class of our own Westerly District Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Tallardy. It is a great time to be a Bulldog. We have thriving extracurricular activities and wonderful Student Council, Robotics, Inc. Bandits, Alliance, FBLA, the International Club, the Math Team, the Barker, the Marching Band, and the National Honor Society. The trips to Quebec and Washington, D.C. have been enjoyed by so many. We have one of the longest Thanksgiving Day game football rivalries in the nation. 90 Rhode Island Interscholastic Team titles. 22 state championships, including this year's boys lacrosse, unified basketball, unified volleyball, boys tennis, and girls outdoor track and field. It is a great time to be a Bulldog. The class of 2019 and generations of Westerly Bulldogs have enjoyed 148 years of academic excellence in the splendor of this town. The bustling downtown, the library, and Wilcox Park, the soon to be revitalized United Theater, Pops in the Park, the YMCA skating rink, marching in the Columbus Day Parade, family outing to the Watch Hill Carousel, the Musquamacate and Town Beach, Fall and Spring Fest, and of course, your father or grandfather's soupy. It is a great time to be a Bulldog. <laughs> and for me, it was a pleasure learning about what it means to be a Bulldog. In my first year as principal of Westerly High, I learned about Bulldog tenacity, Bulldog honor, Bulldog spirit, Bulldog generosity, and Bulldog pride. I have learned about the pronounced disagreements of townspeople regarding Red Sox Nation or Yankee Universe. Spats about Tom Terrific or the New England Giants taking rings away from the Patriots. I have learned about the pride that so many alumni feel for this town. I have learned that regardless of the generation, this community nourishes its children, works hard to ensure opportunities for all, and has a wonderful 
dignified, and let's be honest, sometimes loud dog pound pride in your high school. While it's a great time to be a bulldog, it can be even better time to be a bulldog. Traditions should always be embraced, as should change. Carry forward all the positive experiences your past, of your past and be willing to build upon them in the future. The class of 1928 class motto was finished, yet beginning. That Roaring Twenties Bulldog generation was correct. Every graduation offers a new beginning. The power of tomorrow means that you can reinvent yourself if needed. Take a risk, learn something new, find your passion. Graduation night is spectacular. Look around, this place is spectacular. However, tomorrow is more important. The power of tomorrow means that the rest of your life is about to begin. Today, you are finished. Tomorrow, you are beginning. President Kennedy said, change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or present are certainly to miss the future. He was insightful when he challenged the new generation of Americans to be proud of their heritage, but embrace the power of change. Recently, President Obama challenged us to be the change we seek. I challenge each graduate not only to embrace the traditions, care, and generosity of this town, but also to flourish in what the power of tomorrow has to offer. Whatever your school or career path takes, experience every opportunity that comes your way. Challenge yourself to try new adventures, meet new people, and challenge organizations and leaders that might need to examine new perspectives. You have been blessed to live in this remarkable town. Because of traditions, you have strength. Because of traditions, you have passion. Now use that tradition to reach for the stars and change the world. I have been blessed to have the class of 2019 for my first class as the 37th principal of this school. You will be a great addition to the alumni we call Bulldog Nation. The next generation of Westerly Bulldogs needs you to ensure that their time will also be a great time to be a Bulldog. Congratulations, God bless you, and Godspeed. And at this time, I am delighted to introduce to you the 2019 Westerly High School Salutatorian, Ms. Helena Hall Thompson. Good evening, students, family, friends, Kaylin Holdridge. I love you too, Kaylin, and faculty. Tonight, I'm going to discuss something that many of us fear. No, it is not summer tourists, or death, or even public speaking, but rather time and the prospect of wasting it. Time is a construct made by people to provide intervals in a day. Time is relative, time is experience. To all of us sitting here in our gowns, time has both imprisoned and blessed us. For about one hour in a class period, five times a day, 180 days a year, for four years, time has dictated when our assignments were due, when our tests were taken, when our practices or clubs were, and when we could finally leave to go home. Most of us dedicated 10 out of our 24 hour days completing homework and schoolwork and participating in extracurriculars. We woke up, got dressed, ate breakfast, went to school, went to practice or work, did homework, ate dinner, and went to bed. We did that for 720 days of high school. But now those days are over and our time is our own. And there is much to accomplish in one day. In 24 hours, you could marinate the best brisket you've ever eaten parachute out of a plane 640 times, play 1,440 holes of mini golf, launch 2,531 water rockets, or fly from New York to Singapore. With limitless opportunities in life, it is important that we use our time wisely. And some of the adults here may fear that they have squandered their own precious time throughout their lives. Time is infinite, 
but the time in our lives is finite. In spending 24 hours launching 2,531 water rockets, may not be optimal, but who knows? For some of us, maybe it is. Fortunately, our grade has always valued our time here. It took no more than 12 minutes for all of us to pass our senior exhibition presentations. It took three hours for one of us to be named a National Merit semifinalist. It took mere hours for many of us to complete the college application that gained our admittance into our dream school, gain entrance into the military, or decide our dreams could be fulfilled through apprenticeships or vocational schools. All it took was one FESH to qualify for Worlds, one lacrosse game to win the D3 state title, one track meet to win the third state title in a row, one swim meet to qualify for nationals, one basketball game to earn your 1,000th point, one softball game to get your 100th hit, one unified basketball game to win the state title, and one football game to take the Turkey Day trophy home once again. Many of these accomplishments are achieved in just a few short hours, but the time allocated to work towards those accomplishments is an accumulation of weeks, months, or even years. These four years we have used our time wisely, and sometimes delightfully unwisely, as we achieved what few classes have in a way that most classes have not. We have record breakers, Ivy League admittees, Girls Nation attendees, lead actors in plays, constructors of 12-sided gazebos, Cosmo and tech experts, and speakers for the march of our lives. We have done this because of our competitive drive. Our competitiveness has allowed us to push each other to be the best we can be, even if it results in coming second to someone else. With this fiery competitive spirit, we have become closer and respectful to each other's motivation and talents. As a class, we must continue to persevere to attain our biggest dreams beyond the high school grounds. We need to take our hard work and put it to something else. Instead of studying diligently to pass your next test, you may need to stay out late treating a patient. Instead of practicing nightly to win the next sports championship, you may be going out to watch your child play and find the same success that you did. The small moments you once cherished going out with friends may transform into movie night with the whole family. As a class of doers, we must keep doing what we have always been doing, spending our time doing what makes us happy, even if it is playing 1,440 holes of mini golf a day. As I stand in front of you today, many of you believe that I have myself together and am one to optimize their time. But let me tell you, everyone just pretends they do. I am so worried about my productivity, I've scheduled my life day by day, allocating certain increments of my time to assignments, sports, and activities. I feared that time spent being unproductive was time wasted not working towards my goals, so there's no time for leisure. Yet it is the times where I've decided to not follow my schedule and talk to a friend or doing something stupid like parachute out of a plane that have resulted in lifelong relationships and memories. It is often the times that you fear will be wasteful hold the most value. After all, time that you waste doing something you enjoy is never time wasted because in that moment, there is nothing else that you wanted to do. I mean all of you. Look at your friends. Aren't the times you've done exactly what you shouldn't have made some of the best memories? Weren't the moments in fourth grade when we had so many silly bands they got banned from the school? Or in middle school when we flicked hornets on the bus at each other and almost got suspended? Or this year when we were not late due to car trouble but instead went to breakfast the best times? <laughs> this summer, when I waste my time watching The Office once again, I will come across the quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. <laughs> I encourage you all in the midst of your productiveness to take time to do the stupid, the unrealistic, and the crazy. Take your shot and don't be afraid to take each 24 hours and make it your own. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You did a great job. Thank you, Helena. And Helena plans to study at Johns Hopkins University in the fall. To perform the symphonic Gershwin, please welcome the Westerly High School Symphonic Band.
Wonderful job. Thank you so very much. At this time, I have the honor of introducing our keynote speaker this, uh, keynote speaker this evening. And in deciding on a keynote speaker, I am told that the speaker must be a graduate of Westerly High School, somehow connected to the current class of graduates in good standing and having contributed to society in a meaningful way. 1983 graduate Deanna Burns Fallon fits that description to a T. While at Westerly High School, Mrs. Fallon was on the honor roll each of her years and served as a homeroom representative. A 1984 graduate of Catherine Gibbs, Mrs. Fallon began her career as a legal secretary in the office of Nardone, Turo, and Nacarado. After seven years, she and her husband, Eric, made the decision for her to stay home for a few years to raise her daughters, Megan and Miranda. Since 19, 1997, Deanna has worked for the Westerly School Department, and in 2001, she had her third child, our 2019 graduate, Luke Fallon. Since 2012, Deanna has been the principal's executive assistant, serving as his right arm. For me, she has served as my right arm, my left arm, both my legs, my brain, and oftentimes my counselor. Having a competent and capable assistant is one of the most important positions for a high school principal. I simply would not be able to do what I do without her. I mean this sincerely when I say Deanna Fallon is the heart and soul of Westerly High School. She bleeds blue and white and has been invaluable to me while serving the town of Westerly with distinction. I have not met anyone who loves this school more than she does. It is my honor to introduce the keynote speaker for tonight, Ms. Deanna Burns Fallon. Thank you. It's such an honor to speak with you tonight, graduates. I'd like to share a brief story with all of you. One week ago, June 7th, was your senior prom. It was also the anniversary that the night my husband proposed to me. I will never forget, as he was on tradi traditional bended knee, he said, will you marry me? But before you answer, there are two conditions. First, our first son's name must be Luke. And second, we have to live in Stonington as our children can go to Stonington High School like I did. <laughs> At first, I cried with joy, but soon we gained my senses. <laughs> I told my p potential fiance, I can name our first son Luke, but you can never take Westerly from me. Our children will be Westerly High School graduates. And then I said yes. <laughs> As you all know by your classmate, I lived up to my promise and we have our son Luke. And my husband also lived up to his promise because he understood my bulldog pride. And as of tonight, we will have three bulldog graduates of our own. 
Then I. <laughs> then I went on to work at Wesley High School for the last 22 years. And in that time, I observed many students who have grew, grew to be great Bulldogs. From what I have noticed, Wesley High School has a variety of great Bulldogs. They come in all heights, hair color, energy levels, but yet they carry the most distinguishing trademarks of a Westerly High School Bulldog. I have witnessed Westerly High School Bulldogs to go out of their way to volunteer to be a student athlete on the unified team, to help others without realizing it and earn a Bulldog pride pin, to lend a friend money for lunch or even better, share a lunch, to speak respectfully in the halls to adults and classmates, to walk under the same umbrellas, to commit to incredible senior projects, to complete meaningful community service, to befriend others in a way that would make a parent proud, to show their school spirit in the dog pound and then cheering on their team, to demonstrate forgiveness, to perform duties as class officers, leaders on student council, athletic leaders, artistic leaders, alliance leaders, musicals leaders, technology, woodworking, video, and language learning le leaders, pathway leaders, and of course, our scholar leaders. And lastly, to remember this year's initiative, now and always, to work to, to include one another. I know there is no perfect bulldog and there's no perfect school, but we are all imperfect human beings. Yet I know there are a number of, of us who wonder futures of our own student nation that I may not have mentioned, and I am sure what you can guess that they are. I have watched students enter Wesley High School and then graduate for many years now. And in this moment, I am moved to thank you, the class of 2019, are beginning a new journey away from Wesley High School, yet will you continue learning and growing. As you begin your journey, I hope you realize that tonight there is an adult here, perhaps many of you, who have valued you and think you are the special bulldog, a parent a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle, family friend, teacher, staff member, or an administrator. I hope you stay connected to your bulldog honor with the same pride I spoke to when I said yes 35 years ago. And in my parting words to you tonight, go after the career of your dreams. Love the family you may create to the moon and back and cherish the love of your life. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Fallon. To give the valedictory address, please welcome our class valedictorian, Ms. Salome Otero. Good evening all. Allow me to begin by saying, a long time ago, I wasn't here. I belong to faraway lands, which are very different from the reality we all know in Westerly. My little 10-year-old mind would have never imagined what was awaiting me, what my, what my new life here would be. Language was only the first of many obstacles that did their best to cause a crash between my new world and me. Hats off to all of you for mastering English, by the way. <laughs> my journey has been tremendously hard and my attempt at adapting was indescribable in its difficulties. But what I can describe for you today and highlight in a few minutes are the tools I utilize to adapt and the best piece of wisdom a clueless 17-year-old girl has to offer. My philosophy has always been all about getting from point A to point B. No matter what you have to do or sacrifice, especially no matter what external problems are occurring in the meantime, point B simply needs to be worth it. This lesson was delivered via a good amount of difficult experiences. 
when I simply wanted to quit. For this, I thank Westerly High School. Not every moment here was rainbows and sunshine. I'm sure all of you standing before me were agree would agree. But this stormy and sometimes sunny sky by the name of Westerly High School gave us a glimpse of the world awaiting us beyond the classroom. Adults, not kids, are cruel. Work, not homework, is hard. Life, not social life, is full of unexpected turns. Our struggles related to our high school experience can best serve us if we view them as preparation for a perhaps less unforgiving world. In my case, and right or wrong, I've always viewed working and studying as my way out. Every time I felt that I'm so done mentality we all can relate to, I worked hard. Every time I felt I was about to break, I worked hard. This may have cost, this may have cost concerns in a few of my teachers over my caffeine habits. You know who you are, and I apologize. But look, I'm alive and standing here before you. Oh, and every time my hard work didn't pay off, I did complain and rant quite a lot, actually, but I worked even harder. I've seen firsthand the challenges of not having an education, which is why I use all of these adversities as motivators for myself. I share this with you in the hopes that you realize that no matter what stereotypes or statistics are placed on you, you can overcome them. Or if you're fortunate enough to not have these stereotypes and statistics against you, I urge you to work harder get us closer to a world of no stereotypes and fair statistics. Current statistics, in fact, say that I should not make it. I'm an immigrant living in a single parent household. Regardless of statistics, I worked hard and I will be attending MIT on a full ride. Needless to say, I view school as a stage where you start getting ready for life, and the way it prepares you is by challenging you. Not only giving you challenges to overcome and prove yourself capable of, but by giving you walls that you're not supposed to jump. So you have to accept you need another way to keep going. This is precisely what I faced many times in my high school career. In fact, let's count ourselves lucky since Westerly High School gave us most of the tools for its four-year journey, because in life, we will not always be so lucky, not to say never. Most of the time, we will need to find our own ways to succeed far beyond our comfort zone and against some mighty tides. Excuses have never been a way out to me and even less so a solution. So my fellow classmates and proud adults in the crowd, it is all about getting from point A to point B. And of course, growing as you reach the destination you set as point B. A special, a special someone told me, chaos is the natural state of things. For us, it has been relatively easy at our young age since we've had a family and friends working behind the scenes to provide us with safety and comfortable circumstances. But it will not always be like that. Without your parents and teachers doing their magic, what we have is chaos. We're left with piles of knowledge we don't know how to learn and adversities we cannot overcome without familial support. Many of you sitting before me altered this natural state of life for us, and for that I thank you sincerely and profoundly. I ask you to grant me a selfish minute to speak in Spanish. Hay alguien a quien le debo mucho. A ti te doy gracias por cada noche que me acompañaste y por toda la fe que has tenido en mí hasta cuando yo no me creía capaz. Mis futuros logros siempre van a pertenecerte. Voy a ser grande y quiero ser la más grande del universo por ti. Gracias por todo y te prometo no decepcionarte. And one more selfish moment, but this time in English. Lotus, mi niña bonita, this night you deserve it and I'm going to miss you very much. <laughs> Now it is our turn to repeat the process, to tame the chaos of the world and make something meaningful and neat out of it. In my case, engineering and my desire to help the most unfortunate corners of the world is how I plan to dive into the intimidating chaos of our new chapter. Do with the next chapter what you did with Westerly High School. Complain and rant as much as you need to. Work hard, tame the chaos with your passionate aspirations, accept growth is meant to be difficult, and get to a wonderful and worthy point B. Congratulations, and I wish you all the success in the world. Thank you.
Thank you so very much, Salome. And as you all heard, Salome plans to study engineering at MIT in September. All right, are we ready? I'd ask that all seniors please rise. <laughs> Madam Chair and members of the Westerly School Committee, it is an honor and privilege to certify that these students have met all the requirements for graduation as set forth by their teachers and by the state of Rhode Island. I humbly present to you the class of 2019 for the issuance of diplomas. Dylan Christopher Camacho Ada. Jack Riley Mercurio Adams. David Angelo Aiello. Megan Catherine Albamonte. Thomas John Algier. Yeah. Kara Faith Allen. Jordan Taylor Allen Hurd. Ryan Joseph Aruda. Faith Constance Bailey. Ronald Logan Banner. Kiara Alyssa Barris. Stephanie Ann Bollier. Sadie Marie Ben. David Allen Christopher Bernard. Danielle Renee Burnett. Spencer Gregory Burnett. Bryce Xavier Bazalian. Carly Marie Bowen. Aiden James Brennan. Matthew George Brissett. Antoine Lamont Brown, Jr. Leon Nathaniel Brown, Jr. Miranda Kathleen Brown. Jonathan Thomas Brutcher. Mark Glass Buckley. Stephen James Buckland. Wesley Edward Burns. David Esposito Burroughs. Sky Melody Byrne. Jenny Lee Caban. Mia Page Caparelli. John Thomas Carey III. Oliver Andrew Carey. Oliver. 
Annie Marguerite Selico. Philip Kalungara Chandy. Colleen K. Chen. Cole Joseph Caradillo. Olivia Lynn Caradillo. Brandon Douglas Cretion. Vanessa Ivalisa Chun. Thomas Michael Costa. Kata Madeline Cummings. Elizabeth Jean Davis. Parker Rutherford Del Monte. Michael Sullivan Deniger Jr. Brittany Emma Diaz. Lauren Nicole Dobson. Jenna Marie Dubois. Brandon Edward Durfee. Emily Kathleen Egan. Cheyenne J. Falcone. Luke Andrew Fallon. Kayla Joyce Ferrando. Madison Emmanuel Ferraro. Peter Michael Fiore. Kira Marie Flood. Peter Mark Fasaro Jr. Emily Brooke Gauvin. Elijah Jordan Janice. Edwin Joseph Gentry. Alyssa May Gilliard. Jasmine Lisa Gillis. Logan Anthony Gingerella. <laughs> Tiffany Amber Golding. <laughs> Hetty Techner Goodman. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Gray. <laughs> Winnie Jane Haggerty. Emily Marie Hake. Dylan Paul Hale. Helena Witham Hall Thompson. Isis Love Hamelin. Olivia Ann Harris. Blake Allen Harrison. Madeline Rose Hartley. Olivia Yvette Hartley. April Elizabeth Hazard. 
Emily Grace Hebert. Devin Amber Hitu. Kaylin Grace Holdridge. Isabel Larkin Huckle. Cedric Michael Hurd. Isaiah Andres Idelfonso Plord. Barraquette Joseph Janot. Brianna Marie Imbau Jarrett. Emma Grace Jarvis. Jocelyn Rose Johnson. Reese Arthur Dominic Johnstone. Abigail Rose Keegan. Molly Claire Kina. Sean Patrick Kelly. Hunter Reed Kennedy. Josiah Jacob Kirk. Andrew Richard Knight. Riley Francis Kuzmit. Karen Kwan. Antonio Ismael Laboy. Joshua Michael Lassert. Noah Jacob Lavalley. Nicholas Ethan Lavornia. Cortland Raphael Leecraft. Jasmine Jing Tong Lee. Wilson Lee. Amber Lynn Lucenti. Paige Josephine Lucky. Gabriella Marie Luna. Samuel Richard Lutzel. Isaiah Tyler Luzzi. Samuel Federico Luzzi. Brandon Andrew Maddox. Catherine Elizabeth Maggs. Timory Patricia Maine. Brian Franco Martinez. Jose Antonio Martinez. Cody Anderson Matson. Sierra Grace Matos. Erica Gray Maine. Mackenzie Eve McBride. Ryan Thomas McCarthy. Edward Patrick McKernan. Thomas Francis McLaughlin. Jennifer Johanna Mejia Mejia. This is him. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Zachary Brian Menard. Jordan Louise Minio. Caitlin Olivia Minor. Rosemary Grace Muriello Mirabella. Alexandra Rose Mitchell. Cassie Marie Mitchell. Benjamin Aaron Marone. Caitlin Rose Marone. Megan Ann Marone. Kayla Ann Mowry. Ace Muccio. Jamie Lynn Murray. Jenna May Murray. Jamie Lynn Murray. Jenna May Murray. Allison Ray Northup. Allison Megan Ornberg. Salome De Jesus Otero. Jason Michael Pacheco, Jr. <laughs> Eleanor Mary Page. Zachary Antonio Palmer. Emily Page Pancera. John V. Teshash Patel. Vidi Vijay Kumar Patel. Edward Scott Patsfield. Celia Danielle Perez. Xavier David Perez. Brandon Alexander Perone. Zachary Thomas Phelps. London Jane Powelzik. Anthony Joshua Ramirez. Kaylee Michelle Ribello. Cole Alexander Riley. Kyle Henry Risica. Morgan Elizabeth Rizzo. Dominic Mackenzie King Rodriguez. Sarah Avor Rodin. Yeah. 
Nicholas Jaden Rosado Russell. Tess Elizabeth Rose. Zachary Michael Ruddick. Reese Devin Sr. Antonio Servidio Jr. Jonah Thomas Sherman. Marissa Rose Sherry. Jacob Henry Short. Erica Rose Silva. Colton Samuel Spazzato. Jennifer Eileen Stott. Erin Grace Sullivan. Ryan Paul Joseph Texera. Ashley Marie Terranova. Lily Catherine Terranova. Samantha Elizabeth Tetlow. Haley Marie Townsend. Ryder Gabriel Trainer. Eva Lynn Treat. Teresa Lillian Trolio. Adriana Torano. Tristan Caleb Torano. Jalen Ray Valentin. Timothy Joseph Vettelino. Francesco Michael Vacatura. Abigail Cecilia White. Celeste Teal Wiles. Asia Akia Inez Wilk. Marquesia Ann Wilson. Macy Nicole Wojcik. Kevin Tyler Yu. Lisa Ewan. Congratulations to the class of 2019. It gives me great pleasure to welcome the 50th anniversary class, the class of 1969. Presenting the class gift for the class of 1969 is Dr. Natalie Gordon Pukas, assisted by classmate Mr. Joseph Iacoy. Dr. Natalie Gordon Pukas is a lifelong resident of Westerly. She graduated in the top 10 of the class of 1969 and was a member of the National and Rhode Island Honor Societies. During her years at Westerly High School, Dr. Pukas was active in the choral music department, served as a reporter for the Barker newspaper, and was the president for the Future Teachers of America. In the summer of 1968, she and four of her classmates, along with their French teacher, spent six weeks in Europe and studied French in Vichy, France with the American Institute of Foreign Study. 
This trip was the first of its kind at Westerly High School. Dr. Pukis holds a Bachelor of Arts degree, Master's of Arts degree, a Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study, and a PhD. She began her long career in the field of education as a teacher of Spanish and French. And Dr. Pukis went on to serve as a department chairperson for, for world languages, assistant principal at the middle school and high school levels, a principal at the elementary level, and a superintendent of schools. She also served as the director of curriculum, professional development, and teacher evaluation. She served two terms as the president of the Southeastern Connecticut Association of School Superintendents, as well as two terms on the Connecticut Association of School Superintendents Board of Directors. After 39 years, Dr. Pukas retired in 2012, but continues to consult and offer assistance in the educational community. Please welcome to the podium, Dr. Pukas. Good evening. Honored guests on the dais, my fellow classmates from the class of 1969, fellow educators, parents, relatives, friends, and most especially members of the graduating class of 2019. On behalf of the class of 1969, I offer you sincere congratulations on achieving this milestone in your lives. It was 49 years and 364 days ago that our class marched onto the front lawn of Westerly High School in our blue and white caps and gowns, boys on one side and girls on the other. Today, 50 years later, we gather again to pay tribute to you, our alma mater, and our town. Like you, we were provided an outstanding education that allowed us to go successfully into the real world and pursue our dreams. You, like us, will be proud alumni of Westerly High School, but also will be a very special class in the history of our town. During our graduation year, Westerly was celebrating its 300th anniversary and during yours, it's 350. And just imagine when one of you stands on the dais and presents your class gift, it will be 2069. Westerly will be celebrating its 400th anniversary. At this time, I would ask that the members of the class of 1969 please stand with me for our class presentation. Mr. Ayakoy, would you assist me? He says he's only 22. Okay. Since this is again a milestone for our class to celebrate and a milestone for the town of Westerly too, we wanted to present something with special significance, not only to Westerly High School, but also to the community. We had a sincere desire that our gift be placed in Wilcox Park and in close proximity to the 1903 Westerly High School, where its marker stones still stand. Wilcox Park represents the center of Westerly's beginnings. It's a place with beauty and character, and over the course of its 120-year history, it's been a place for concerts, plays, art exhibits, and much more, as well as an inviting setting to enjoy the wonder of every season. Mr. Ikoy, would you unveil our gift? The class of 1969 decided on a chess table and benches as a gift, which would enrich the entire community, complement our fond memories of growing up in Westerly, and display the value of what we have learned on life's journey. Chess is the game of life. Since our graduation, our class has experienced the life lessons that are characteristics and qualities synonymous with the game of chess critical thinking, problem solving, focus, concentration,
thinking ahead, and planning are all components that benefit a chess player and our successful strategies to move forward in life. We present this gift on behalf of our class and in honor of the 41 members of the class of 1969 who were with us on that lawn that evening but are no, are no longer with us. Our gifts dedication will be held in Wilcox Park at 6 p.m. tomorrow night which is the exact date that the class of 1969 graduated 50 years ago, and our reunion is planned for that evening exactly 50 years later. We are extremely pleased that it has been placed by the statue of Christopher Columbus, and indeed in close proximity to the 1903 Westerly High School. We invite you all to attend. The special gift will be dedicated to our history as the class of 1969, celebrate the class of 2019, as well honor the 350th anniversary of the town of Westerly with its legacy carved in pink Westerly granite. Both the class of 1969 and the Westerly Education Endowment Fund have been recognized with engravings as contributors to this project, as well as engraving the 350th Town of Westerly Celebration logo on one of the benches. Our WHS classmate, Alan Hill, has handcrafted a unique wooden box to store the marble chess pieces that will be entrusted to the Westerly Library in memory of our 41 deceased classmates. As Susan Polger said, chess is a miniature version of life. To be successful, you need to be disciplined, assess resources, consider responsible choices, and adjust when circumstances change. Those who will use the chess table will learn something about themselves and become our narrative of the future. Again, on behalf of the class of 1969, my friends, congratulations to the class of 2019, and may your lives be as richly blessed as ours, and may your friendships with the members of your graduating class be lifelong ones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Pukas and Mr. Ayakoy and the class of 1969. I'm sure that will be treasured and used for years to come. Very much appreciated. At this time, please welcome back to the podium Mr. Samuel Luzzi to present the class of 2019 class gift. At the start of the school year, my fellow class officers and I set an ambitious goal. We wanted to raise enough money to provide every student the opportunity to attend our senior events with the lowest possible expense. I'm happy to announce that we reduced the admission of all three senior events this year to lessen the cost of our prom last year. But we chose this goal because we all felt as though everyone has a role in this class, and we want to try our best to have as many people there to experience these events with us. Every student graduating today will be remembered as a graduate of the class of 2019. That said, we have ordered a large scale framed picture of the 2019 students senior portraits. This way, although leaving the high school, our legacy will remain. We also added a banner to welcome the class of 2023 next year, as it is tradition for the, exi the exiting seniors to acknowledge the next year's incoming freshmen. In addition to these gifts, our class has also purchased a flowering cherry tree for the school to add to its beautiful campus. This tree will symbolize our roots in Westerly, and it shows how over time we will all continue to grow and eventually blossom. I'm excited to see how this tree will grow over time and hopefully remain at Westerly as a reminder of our class for years to come. Please welcome, at this time, please welcome Jasmine Lee, the co-president of the student council to lead the turning of the tassels. Okay. 
There is one more act that you'll perform as Westerly High School students. The turning of the tassel ceremony symbolizes one's transition from candidate to graduate. Westerly High School Class of 2019, please join me in turning your tassel. At this time, I ask that everyone please stand. It has truly been an honor to have served this class as president for the past few years. There's no doubt that I'm going to miss our times together, and I know that I'll never forget the memories we've made at Wesley High School. So thank you all, and I wish everyone the best of luck wherever your lives may take you. Before we finally end this ceremony, I only have one more thing that I'd like to say to everyone. We should all be extremely proud of ourselves and our classmates for all that we've been able to accomplish and the mark that we have left on Wesley High School for the better. At this point, some of us may be going in different directions, but I really hope that down the line, our paths may cross again. Instead of calling this a goodbye, I'd much rather call this a see you later. Again, congratulations to all the graduates. Um, I ask that our guests please remain in, uh, in place until all the graduates have exited. Thank you all for attending and have a wonderful evening.
world is full of demon stocks and bonds and Bible traders. So I do the deed, get up and leave, I climb around a sadist, yeah. Are you ready for the sequel? Ain't ready for the latest? In the garden of evil, I'm gonna be the greatest. In a golden cathedral, I'll be praying for the faithless. And if you lose, boo.